Alrighty, um, so I did promise that I would make another Red Dead video tonight and make one tomorrow. So for the first mission, we gotta go talk to Mr. Gettys. in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Gettys? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Time to sleep. Oh! What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh my god, the ranch is on fire. You gotta do something. Two of them by the stove. Get that tall. It's over. Who's it? Who's this? New hand. Oh. You're that tough guy they just took on. And I heard about you. I'll be up in a moment. Dumb Hicks. Drop this on yourselves! There's some food crap here with your name on them! Where's Getty's name? Oh, I, I, I lost my wind. Y'all will pay for this, bro. They Someone's killed Mr. Killed. Tobert! And they've stolen my goddamn cattle! You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, uh, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's Oh, really shoot! We. I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Oh, and he got Arthur's hat on. Much respect for John, bro. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Much yeah, respect yeah, for John. Right. <laughs> Let's go, boys, bro. No way. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty, bro. 
John Marston rides hey. again. Hey! You boys been coming up the pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! punches in two. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my seats. Long hey, hey, I have an idea. How about you shut up? Head back to the ranch. Mr. Milton, Thank this you. man can really fight. Save the whole place. Mm -hmm. uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Ooh, what? why her face do that? 
What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Why is she like so mad at him, bro? Man, all he's doing is like protecting them. They just don't see that. Well, at least Abigail doesn't. But just do one thing or another. Oh. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Arthur. Ah, we miss you, Arthur. Let's do this little chore right here. Let's milk the cow. Alrighty. Alright, let's go see what's going on with Abigail. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well... Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know he all about so that. He's so like... Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. He's mean, bro. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think it's just about doing know. things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said he was pride. Or something? The law was wrong about that. I'm gonna to go extremely fast, bro. Here. You wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and... Pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. That strawberry. Yeah, we made it. That's enough for now. Thank 
in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Well, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. He only started reading the locks to Hosea. I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Hosea taught him how to read. Abigail should have asked Hosea how to read. She didn't. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Ain't you going to see the clerk? Hi. Come on, I'm man. here. Name? Oh. My name? Uh, Jim? Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. Jim Milton. Nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. If I whisper Marston. you my name, that makes nope. you Nothing have here to for that whisper name back, bro. Try Abigail Why Roberts. Why are you it loud? Abigail Not Roberts. everybody in the world know who I am. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. He's screaming he also, all I'm here to pick up purpose. the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Ow. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Well, I am sure, so. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out... Uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I think for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Um, why is everybody right, looking at up. me? Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go. Go, yeah. Jack. Go, 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 yeah, Jack. Speed. Let's speed this up. Like, there's random, like, there's like. This random dude chopping wood, and then he just like stops just to look at me. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No, no. Keep driving. Look, there's another dude. Are we about to get ambushed?
think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Don't look around. Oh, Pop, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, oh, you wait shoot. here. You don't move. Or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. We're able to get another gunfight. Okay, we gentlemen. Just let's see what you come calling the about. And we're already shooting up everybody Wait, boys, because with us. Oh, we just killed some Lammy boys and I'm about to kill these people. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Huh? Son. Jack, they were gonna kill us. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. You always there. Take <gasps> it's not even that serious, uh -huh. bro. If you they were gonna try to kill us for both. You can't get mad that I had to kill them. That's how it is. Bro, with wagons in this game, I can never stay in the same spot. Look, how I'm like going all over the place. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. <laughs> Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Doug and Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure. I was sure. literally about to say, take a yeah. shortcut. That ain't nowhere near that no shortcut. That's just taking us to the other choice. side of where we're trying Which to go. We were cleaning up after it was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Hmm. Alrighty, okay, we, we made it. That was in uh it was about time trip. Go say hi to your mother. How was the Dang What happened? He has a attitude. Yeah. It's I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then we... followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. <laughs> sorry, Abigail. I just had to like, protect us. Problem. We weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Aww. But still, it isn't my fault, Abigail. We were getting chased, like, it's like the fifth time that she keeps doing this, bro. Hey, Mr. Jim? 
Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think Let's you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. <laughs> no, but seriously, Shaq like it's like I my fault. Thanks, Abe. Number one, we were getting ambushed. Number two, Mr. Gaddy's was like how should I say, his place was getting burned down and the cows were stolen and they were shooting Mr. Dickens. So how is it my fault every time I use my gun when I'm trying to protect the place? Oh, <laughs> But if I'm trying to protect the place, it's not my fault. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. Stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. <gasps> I've got something to discuss. Oh, shoot. Hey. Good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. Wow. I'll be damned. What to go tell Abigail about this? Bro, Sadie. Dang. I bet she be like, oh my god, Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Wrong way. Abigail! They left. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Dang. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. Dang, she left I him. hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Dang. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. <laughs> What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun. Sure. You know that's a lie. Them men shot at me. Just interested, yeah, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. You unless you find gossip about a man's swing. marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. I just can't believe that. She just left. John must be sad. But now it's time to go do some farm work, so. To take his mind off it. Let's see. 
I'm gonna just milk the cow, that's easier. Fixing the gate that we put up earlier. I forgot that we even put up a gate. Mm. Look, his beard's getting longer and everything. So did his hair? Well, nah, the beard for sure, but not the hair. No, 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 the hair did a little bit, actually. A few months later, how long has he been here? For a year? Told, does he stay for a year? Does he like stay for That's like, her a couple pull. months? Hey, you know I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine Maybe worker. Maybe a couple Jim of Milton. years. You know he put. Oh, thank um, you. Means a lot. Someone. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to Wait. offering me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. <sighs> thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <laughs> what the? He said, Pa! <laughs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own. So I can prove to my wife that I've changed. That's what I was trying to say. I understand. The reason why he um ain't got much doesn't money. stay for you is because he wants to get the house for him and Abigail but and maybe Jack. Maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my distant name. Cousin. Tell him to ask me all direct right. himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. He doesn't even look that old. He looks like he's in like his... 30s. Oh, shoot. All righty. The good OG outfit, bro. So we're just leaving. Um, so all right, um, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. That is the end of this video. 
I know this one's very shorter than others, but it's like late at one, and I'm gonna be up to like three trying to edit this, so you know, yeah. But tomorrow I'll have a Red Dead video out tomorrow, so yeah, guys. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.